Did you know the Philippine government is finally taking action regarding deuterium? For decades, rumors have circulated about unimaginable wealth hidden beneath the Philippine deep. But now, Congress has proposed a bill to investigate the truth. Could this truly be the fuel of the future? Deuterium, also called heavy hydrogen, is a hydrogen isotope with one proton and one neutron. It's stable, non-radioactive, and is being explored in fusion energy experiments in countries like Japan and South Korea. Scientists consider it a clean and powerful energy source, though still in early development stages. Back in the 1980s, a wave of excitement swept through the Philippines. Private researchers, journalists, and even some government officials began to circulate a remarkable story. That the Philippine Deep, a vast underwater trench off the country's eastern coast, was home to the world's largest and richest deposits of deuterium. Deuterium, also known as heavy hydrogen, is a rare isotope of hydrogen that can be used as a fuel in nuclear fusion, and at the time it was being hailed as a possible solution to the world's growing energy crisis. Magazine covers and newspaper headlines boldly declared that the Philippines could soon become one of the wealthiest nations on Earth, thanks to this so-called white gold hidden beneath its waters. The numbers being thrown around were staggering. Some claimed the deuterium reserves were worth trillions of dollars, enough to transform the country's economy overnight. Archival footage from the era shows Filipino researchers and scientists poring over maps and scientific papers, their faces lit with hope and ambition. The legend of Philippine deuterium quickly took on a life of its own, inspiring books, documentaries, and even government proposals for massive extraction projects. For many Filipinos, it was a story of national pride and a tantalizing glimpse of a brighter future. But as the years passed, skepticism began to grow. Despite the bold claims and widespread enthusiasm, no credible scientific studies or peer-reviewed research could be found to support the idea that deuterium was concentrated in the Philippine deep or anywhere else in the world's oceans in commercially viable amounts. Leading scientists, both in the Philippines and abroad, reviewed the available data and found no evidence to back up the extraordinary claims. Laboratories remained quiet, and proposed extraction projects never got off the ground. The story, it seemed, was built more on hope and speculation than on hard science. Today, experts remind us that deuterium is not something that accumulates in deep sea trenches or is stored in seabeds. Instead, it is evenly distributed throughout all the world's seawater, at a concentration of about one deuterium atom for every 6,400 hydrogen atoms. This means that while deuterium is indeed present in the Philippine deep, it is found in the same proportion as in any other ocean on Earth. The legend of Philippine deuterium remains a fascinating chapter in the country's history, a story of ambition, hope, and the enduring power of a good myth. In January 2025, a significant development took place in the halls of the Philippine Congress. Representative Robert Ace Barbers, a well-known advocate for science and technology initiatives, formally filed House Bill No. 11295. This move marked a pivotal moment in the country's approach to the much-discussed topic of deuterium, a substance that has long been the subject of speculation, hope, and controversy in the Philippines. For decades, stories about the potential of deuterium reserves beneath Philippine waters have circulated, fueling dreams of energy independence and economic transformation. Yet, until now, there had been little concrete action from the government to address these claims, or to investigate their validity in a systematic, scientific manner. The bill proposed the creation of a new government agency, the Philippine Deuterium Research and Development Authority, or PDRDA. This agency would be tasked with a clear and ambitious mandate, to serve as the central body responsible for all matters related to deuterium research, exploration, and potential development. The establishment of the PDRDA signals the government's recognition of both the opportunities and the challenges that come with exploring such a promising, yet unproven resource. It also reflects a growing awareness that scientific rigor and transparency are essential if the country is to move beyond rumors and speculation. The proposed agency would operate under the supervision of the Department of Science and Technology, or DOST, ensuring that its work is grounded in credible scientific principles and methodologies. The DOST's involvement is crucial, as it brings together the nation's top scientific minds and resources, providing the expertise needed to conduct thorough research and analysis. 
The PDRDA's responsibilities would include leading comprehensive scientific studies, organizing and funding feasibility assessments, and developing a roadmap for potential deuterium extraction and utilization. By placing the agency under the DOST, lawmakers hope to guarantee that the pursuit of deuterium is guided by evidence, not just ambition. Another key aspect of the bill is its emphasis on collaboration. The PDRDA would be empowered to build partnerships with international experts, research institutions, and private sector stakeholders. This collaborative approach recognizes that the science of deuterium is complex and rapidly evolving, and that the Philippines can benefit from the knowledge and experience of the global scientific community. By fostering these partnerships, the government aims to ensure that the country's efforts are aligned with international best practices and that any breakthroughs or discoveries are shared for the benefit of all. Ultimately, the creation of the PDRDA represents a bold step forward in the quest to determine the truth behind the deuterium claims. Through rigorous research, transparent processes, and international cooperation, the government hopes to finally answer the question, can deuterium truly become a game-changer for the Philippines? The journey is just beginning, but for the first time it is being guided by science, not speculation. Right now, the Philippine government is actually putting more focus on green hydrogen projects. One major partnership is with HDF Energy, and together, they're aiming to build Southeast Asia's first renewable hydrogen power plant in Mindanao. This project uses protium, that's the common form of hydrogen, not deuterium. When it comes to the buzz around deuterium in the Philippine deep, it's important to separate fact from fiction. Reports from verified sources like Vera Files have consistently pointed out that, despite all the hype, there's still no credible scientific evidence proving that the Philippine deep contains vast commercially viable amounts of deuterium. Many claims circulating online are based on speculation, not on peer-reviewed research or official geological surveys. This is a crucial distinction because misinformation can easily spread, especially when the topic is as exciting and potentially lucrative as a new energy source. In reality, deuterium isn't unique to the Philippine deep at all. It's a naturally occurring isotope of hydrogen and it can be found in seawater everywhere on Earth, from the Pacific to the Atlantic, from the Arctic to the Indian Ocean. In fact, every liter of seawater contains a small but measurable amount of deuterium, and this is true for oceans, seas, and even some lakes around the world. The idea that the Philippines holds a monopoly on this resource is simply not supported by science. But here's the real challenge. Even though deuterium is everywhere, Extracting it from seawater is a complex, energy-intensive, and expensive process. The technology required to separate deuterium from ordinary hydrogen is highly specialized and not widely available. Current methods are inefficient and costly, making deuterium a poor short-term bet for solving our energy needs, unless there are some major technological breakthroughs in the future. So, while the dream of deuterium as a miracle energy source is appealing, the reality is far more complicated it's important to stay grounded in facts, question bold claims, and keep a critical eye on what's possible today, versus what might be possible tomorrow. Having a dedicated research agency is definitely a smart move, but, honestly, it's no guarantee of results. Instead of relying on urban legends, the Philippines really needs to keep investing in proven renewable energy sources, like solar, wind, and green hydrogen. So, is deuterium the next big thing or is it just a beautiful myth? Only science, not rumors, can give us the answers here. Let's hope this new bill leads to real discovery and not just more speculation.